Well, wow, we teleported. We're here. Holy shit. What, th there's crystals everywhere. How do we miss all these? What, did we not notice these before? They're all over the place. And there's a crystal. Look, there's, uh, there's crystals there. this means to me man all right I'm plugging the crystal of Ithacles into the telepod all right listen we're back in the telepod and the first order of business is let's store some of those green power babies all right so just rotate around until you see the the big red button that's the power baby suction button just ro you'll find it just rotate around until you see the big red button you're gonna be doing this all the time so you better just get used to it. Oh shit, you got enough green power babies to give me a, a, a new hit point, a new health point. Oh my god, I'm gonna, now I can take more damage. Oh, see, that's what happens when you collect these green power babies. All right, okay, we're, we're really rocking and rolling. We're getting there, partner. We're getting there. Looks like there's still a lot of power babies left out there. You know, it'd be real nice if we went out and got them. Oh, shit. You better answer that, partner. That's probably the boss. Trover, chair person. Good work. You got the crystal, and it looks like Trover's already installed it and upgraded the telepod. Now you just have to teleport to the Abstainer's home world, Inner Sanctum. Very rare opportunity for anyone. Good work, guys. Uh, we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Jeez, Chair Orpian, I gotta admit, I never saw you, I never thought you had it in you to cold-bloodedly murder somebody like that. Whew, glad I'm not on your bad side. You know, you're gonna do pretty good out here in this cosmos, you know? You're gonna do pretty good when we part ways right after this next part of the game when we split up because I'm going my way and you're going your way and they're not intertangled at all and that's all I gotta say about that This is where the abstainers live in a giant foggy void must be nice What are you doing come see, talk to us? We are the abstainers. We request your presence We must talk to you in person. We're very interesting to look at You'll want to see us trust me. You'll want to you'll want to come and be in our presence It's cool. It looks cool, especially in virtual reality because you'll, you'll be able to look around and feel a, a strong sense of presence, like you're actually here. So come to our inner sanctum and talk to us, please. We have things to speak with you about. We are the abstainers. We could talk more about a bunch of inside shit, but, you know, whatever. We're the abstainers. Just come to hang out. Come and hang out with us. Let's just chill out. What are you doing? You're just fucking around. Come chill with us. Come on, let's chill. Our walkway is not that long. You could have been here now three times over. The walkway is not that long. I, I believe me, I know, I installed it myself. <laughs> I believe I installed it. No, I did, <laughs> you fucking bitch. Uh, all right, well, hurry up. We'll see you in a second. I guess you're 
just fucking about, smelling the roses and whatnot. Not like there's a whole bunch of shit to worry about with Glorcon out there causing a ruckus. Not like we have stakes or any problems to deal with. You know, whatever. Okay, listen, I know these guys kind of seem intimidating, but we really need to talk to them if we're going to save your dogs. Whoa, Shitner, what, what are you trying to jump me off the, this catwalk? Nope, they got an invisible shield. Invisible shield! Come on, what, why? Stop it. I don't want to do that. Ah, they have arrived. Welcome, Trover. Yeah, uh, yeah, thanks for having us, you know. Ah, yes, welcome. It's true. The dogs were yours. The bond you have is strong. You are the chair-bound one. He who is dis destined to defeat Glorcon. We, we are, are the abstainers. We see all. We know all. But we can no longer be sure of the future. Slow talker. Now that Glorcon has broke free, he was one of us. We were four in total. Now we're just three. I mean, it's a bunch of bullshit, really, if you think about it. He fucked us. Now we're three. We abstain from interfering with anything, because we don't fuck with shit. And we're the abstainers, and we abstain from stuff. Um, listen, so... The clones, we, we've been running into Glorcon clones. They said a bunch of bad stuff is coming. Oh, oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Oh, dub, 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 dub. That's bad. That's just bad stuff. It's a bad sign. Uh, this means Glorcon is proceeding with his plan to destroy the universe, the cosmos, everything. Wait, what? what? D destroy the whole cosmos? That's right, you little purple hunk. And you two together are our, our only hope. Uh, you must collect Glorcon the clones. You must collect their guts. We will be able to use that to peer into Glorcon's mind so we're able to see what his next moves are. It's the only way we can stop the horrible things from happening. What are you talking about? Us? I, I, I don't want I, I don't want to deal with this. Get the fuck out of here. Hurry. Get the fuck out of here. Just to reiterate, we are the abstainers. We used to be able to see all timelines. Every version of reality we could peer into. We abstain from interfering with everything. Now that Glorcon left, we're broken down. We can't see anything. We don't know what the fuck is going on. We need to peer into Glorcon's mind so we know what his plans are. So that we can stop It's a him. bunch of bullshit. This whole thing is bullshit. We weren't expecting it. We weren't planning for it. It's fucking fucked up. It's like if you- if your car broke down on the freeway, and you're like, fuck. I wasn't expecting this. I wasn't planning for this today. I, I, I had a whole bunch of shit to do. Jesus, finally they're gone. Now I can take these pants off. Oh, oh, that's the stuff. Gotta air it out sometimes, you know? Oh, yes, I know. I'm gonna leave mine on, though. Why would you leave yours on? Well, I don't want to air it. mine out right now. Why not? Because I don't feel- Whoa, hey, wh why are you back here? We, we thought you left. Yeah, sorry, sorry, I, we're just, I guess we're coming back to make sure we didn't miss anything All important. you missed was us removing our pants, or at least I did. I'm airing out my thing. Oh, okay, that's yeah, all right. Yeah, gotta air it out. Airing out my thing right now. Mmm, there's a nice steady breeze down below the catwalk here. Just hits my thing. It feels so nice. Okay, cool, so you guys all airing out your things, no, or? I'm not airing out my thing. Neither am I. We got what we needed, let's go. It's very cool, especially with this breeze hitting my thing. Mmm, it feels so nice. No, you can stay if you want to hear us talk about how we're airing out our things. I'm not airing my thing out. Neither am I. I know, but I'm airing my thing out. I took my pants off, and now my we, we, thing is We gotta go get the Gor Glorcon. Being aired okay, out. cool, let's get out of here. All right, that's probably the boss calling. You should answer the phone. Hello? Hello? Uh, what's going on? Boss, we're in some deep stuff over here. The stakes have been raised. Glorcon's trying to destroy the whole universe, and the abstainers want us to stop him. <clears throat> Hold on, Chover. Shut the fuck up. Let me talk to the Chair Orpian here. Chair Orpian, is it true? Have the stakes been raised? Huh. Okay, so what you say is true, Trover. The stakes have been raised. 
According to the chair Orpian. That's what I said! Shut up, Trover! Trover, what are you gonna do? You gonna fucking sit on your little pansy ass while the whole cosmos gets blown up and destroyed? Or are you gonna fucking pony up? You and the chair Orpian are the only hope. The abstainers said it to me earlier. I didn't want to tell you about it. You're bitching and moaning. You're gonna to go to Shroomia, and you're gonna find Doopy Duper. He has a cauldron, a vessel, a little receptacle, whatever. I need you to fill up the Glorcon clone guts into the cauldron and, and come back to the telepod, all right? Now get the fuck out of here. I'm gonna go shoot some hoops. Well, you heard him. We gotta go to Planet Shroomia. Man, I thought we would be wrapping it up back there. You know, this is turning out to be a way bigger deal than I thought it would be. You know, listen, I'm a whole monster. You're a Cherorpion. We're not meant to be a team, but we're partners now. You hear that? I acquiesce. We're partners. I don't want to be together with you, but we are. And we're in way over our heads, so, you know, just don't screw anything up. Let's just do what we came to do, all right? Hit the button so we can get out of here. Hit the button, please. All right, here we are, here in, here in shit land, about ready to get shit on. All right, boss said that Doopy Duper would, would have the cauldron, the magical vessel or whatever that we need to get, so keep your eyes peeled for that house. Normal, regular, single story, ranch style home with a two car garage. Great, more pissed off things that want us dead. Fantastic! Alright, boss said that Doopy Duper would, would have the cauldron. Whoa! Got another green power, baby. Dude, you are making my day. Dude, we're all the clones, we're all the same. No, some of us are bigger, and some of us have more take more hits to kill. And have like armor and things like that. Oh, so if you have armor. Oh, well, well. Oh, well, look who it is. We got ourselves a little purple eye hole monster and a chair orpian. No doubt trying to penetrate our secret fort, get in here and ruin off, ruin our stuff. Well, it's not gonna happen. So we've, we've knocked it up another level. We're the Gorklon clone. Not gonna be able to do nothing around here. Not gonna be able to stop us. We're the toughest fucking guardians of this fort you'll ever meet. Not gonna be able to get. Whoa, whoa. Look at this little character popping up, getting in our face over here. Partner, do you see Doopy Duper's house in there? Single story, Doopy Duper's place? What the fuck are you guys talking about? Get the fuck out of here. There's no fucking Doopy Duper's around here. Y y you see his house in there? His house is actually in there. You're fucking lying to your purple partner down there. This is the fucking where anyone lives. This is the fucking fort. This is the Glorcon base of operations on this fucking place. Oh, look, 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 there they go. A couple of fucking idiots. Off on their way. Fucking dumbass piece of shits. Let's get back to guarding oh, this look fucking who castle. It is. Look who's back. Little lost babies. Anyways, what were we talking about? Yeah, do you guys know what a wall is? Hey, listen, let me... I got this. Alright, go ahead. Do you guys know what a wall is? No, wh tell why don't you, what you tell us? Is. It's a giant fucking wall that you can't get past at all. You can't even get through it. You can't dig under it. You know what I'm talking about? Hey, give me a high five, man. Good work. Thanks, man. These little two pumpkin heads aren't gonna be able to get in here. That's right. Now they know what. Now they know. Now they understand what they're up against. Do you guys understand what you're up against? You're up against a fucking giant wall. Go ahead, try to jump on it. You can't. There's collision detection on every fucking part of this wall. Shit, there's Okay, partner, come on, let's go. Another green power, baby? What are you, Mother Teresa over here? Oh, what a good guy. Oh, 
but look who's back. It's it's stupid and stupid. The two stupid idiots. Anyway, wh wh where was I? Hey, listen, man. You rub my asshole. Let's get back to guarding this fucking castle. What do guards do? They stay quiet and they stay tough. Fucking tell me what listen, to do. Listen, partner, I don't want to go over there. I don't want to be anywhere near this area. It's, it's gross. It smells bad. It's a pool, a pond of decomposed power <laughs> baby slime. Two dum-dums are back. Anyway, listen, uh, I'm trying to tell you, um, listen, uh, you see the newest episode of Clonefeld starring the Glorcon clones? It's like Seinfeld only with clones. Bam. It's a clone show about nothing. <laughs> Have I seen it? It's a clone show about nothing. You talking? Easy, easy, partner. You know, you better make sure every one of these jumps that you think about it and, and you time it just right because I'm not, I don't want to Oh, oh, this is just, you just, what's the matter with you? The power baby guts are all over me. I know it appears that I'm, I'm clean, but I can feel their dead bodies against me and my, and all that wetness was, was essentially their dead corpses and they're just rubbing all over me. Imagine your dogs all ground up and then you having to splash around in their guts. What do you know? It's a, it's a power baby. All right, well, you know, we saved a life. Uh, I guess it helps make up for the thousands of power baby guts down there that you got all over me. All right, let's keep going, partner. Uh-oh. Warning. Flash, flash warning. We got a couple of stupid dum-dums decided to show up and return back here. What was I talking about again? Go fucking play your stupid dumb game and fucking beat us, stupid fucking idiots. You know, if you fucking, you, you got no confidence right now. Yeah, they don't even got any confidence. They don't got... You, person in need of some help over here, come on. Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy that ignores someone crying for help. Oh, God. Please, come on. Just... Please, look, 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 look. I see you not looking, you're not looking, not look. Are you looking. Help me, do you hear this? This chair's not gonna get up and help me. Come on, I'm, I'm right here. I can see you not looking at me. Hey partner, I think that might be Doopy Duper. Are you Doopy Duper? Yeah, yeah, I'm Doopy Duper. That's right, that's me. Oh, bad luck, Doopy Duper. All right, listen, w w our boss sent us here because you're supposed to have some sort of magic cauldron vessel thing? You mean that bowl thing? Yeah, I know, that's long gone. Those chicken nugget characters stole it from me and locked it up in their castle fort thing. Those dudes? Damn it! Yeah, the only way to get into that fort is up on that cliff there. Just up there, past my house. Do you see it? Just right up there. You gotta turn your head to look. Yeah, that's it. And the only way you can get up to that cliff is if I reveal the secret staircase. Okay, yeah, so can you turn on the secret staircase? Oh, yeah, sure. I'll reveal it. It's super easy. I'll activate the secret staircase, but I just need you to help me move. Do you know how to pick stuff up and move it? Really? Well, that's all right. I got this chair upgrade you can use to help pick stuff up. And... All right, now you can pick up and move things, like my TV. Try it out. All you gotta do is look at the TV and press the R2 button. Simple as that. There you go. Now, if you wouldn't mind, bring it a little closer to me by using the D-pad. You can also rotate using left or right on the D-pad. Great! Now just set it right in front of me. 
Perfect, right there. Now I can watch my shows. So, now I just need you to move those boxes over to that house right there. The one with the basketball hoop. Perfect! Right there is perfect! Yeah, now just set it anywhere in front of the house, right over there. You want some hard candies? In front of the house! Do you not know what a house is? It's got that gorgeous basketball hoop right over the garage. You can't miss it. Oh, you did it! Thank you so much! You must have been in the Gifted and Talented program. Yeah, okay, so activate the secret staircase, please? Yeah, actually, I changed my mind. Can you move the boxes in the garage? Ouch! Oh, that hurts. Oh, poor, poor Boopy. Anywho, where was I? Oh, yeah, so can you move the boxes in the garage? I checked the weather and it said it could rain. You know, I don't want to risk it. It would soggy up the boxes and I don't want to soggy the boxes up. So, can't you just put them in the garage so the boxes stay safe and dry? Then I'll, I'll promise I'll open the staircase, okay? Listen, we're in a lot of trouble here, okay? We can't fuck around with this shit. We need to know where this cauldron vessel thing is. I understand, I really... That's not where I want that box. Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so this will only go. Ow! 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 Ouch! Oh, Ow! That... Come on now, stop it. But but I digress. I really appreciate you two doing this. All this moving is just so stressful, and, and you can never... Right, that's fine. Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so... A bird captured me and attempted to eat me one time. The only reason why I'm still alive even is cause of, cause of my chair. Otherwise, it would have swallowed me whole. Instead, I was just repeatedly regurgitated for eight straight days. Probably similar to getting eaten by an anaconda. Uh, you know, I heard if you put your arms out in a wide T, an anaconda can only digest the bottom of your body. Anyways, I guess that would have been it for my there, chair, There! The boxes but... are in the garage, okay? Now, reveal the damn staircase! Oh, shoot! I wanted you guys to hold off on doing that. I just checked the weather, and it looks like it's all cleared up. Plus, it's so dark and scary in that garage. What? Come on! This is bullshit! We had a deal! Now reveal the staircase! Please stop yelling at me! You're scaring me! You're scaring old Duper here! Oh my god! This... This is it then! No more after this! Uh, we do this and then we get the secret staircase! No more! I promise! I never break my promise! Outside is better, trust me. I've moved so much in the past 10 years, I've learned a thing or two. <sighs> hey. Oh, hey, don't forget to move them back outside. I don't like how dark that garage is. Bless your weak little heart for doing this. You really make an old duper happy here. Anywho, where was I? Oh yeah, so... Oh, hey, don't forget to move them back outside. I don't like how dark that garage is. There, the boxes are outside. Now, for fuck's sake, reveal the secret staircase. Okay, no need for foul language here. I will reveal the secret staircase, but not until one last thing. I want you to put the boxes on my roof. Go to hell! Hey, you want to get up that cliff? And I'm gonna need you to put those boxes on that roof. My new roof. Do you realize what's at stake? The entire universe could cease to exist. The whole universe. I didn't realize how crazy this shit was until just earlier. The whole universe is at stake. Well, that sounds pretty good to me. Turn on the secret staircase. Put the boxes on 
This is the, a little doopy dooper's a, a, a lunatic. Damn, partner, that was some quick thinking. Man, you must really hate helping people in wheelchairs. You, you got us out of that mess real quick. Damn, I thought we were never gonna get out of there. I mean, helping people move is the, is the worst. They always make it seem like it'll be easy, but it never is. You know, even if it's just a couple of things. And then they offer to buy you a pizza or something. Like, like that's a fair trade. I don't think so. It's a bunch of bullshit, partner. Whoa! All right, you got a green power, baby! How'd you get so good at doing puzzles? Did your parents make you practice morning, noon, and night until they ruined your love for puzzle solving, leaving you to resent them? All the while, they're thinking that they were doing you a favor when in reality, they were just pushing their own unhealthy addiction on you? Is that how you got into them and so good at puzzles? 